The Renaissance occurred from the 14th to the 16th century. The term Renaissance refers to people who lived in Europe at the time, primarily in Italy. In this video, we will look at Florence, Italy, and how Filippo Brunelleschi shaped art and architecture. Following the Middle Ages, the Renaissance was about rediscovering. With the Roman Empire falling, many of the skills and techniques regarding art and architecture had been lost. Having lost many skills and techniques, Europe and Italy, for our purposes, fell into a dark age. One of the most important skills and techniques that had been lost was the understanding of linear perspective. Much of the paintings and drawings from the Middle Ages lacked depth and reality. Perspective had not been rediscovered, resulting in much of the art looking 2D. In the 14th century, Giotto was the first person to work at the technique of perspective in his painting, but through the use of shade and light. During the Renaissance, culture and art were flourishing throughout Italy, especially in Florence. Famous architects and artists such as Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Masaccio, Filippo Brunelleschi, and Lorenzo Gilberti filled the city of Florence, contributing to the city's flourishing culture. Of these artists and architects, Filippo Brunelleschi was very important to the city of Florence for many of his projects and art, but he's most known in history for his design of the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore in Florence. Before the design of the dome, Brunelleschi had rediscovered one point linear perspective around 1410 and 1415. His understanding of perspective and depth allowed paintings and drawings to become more realistic. To further explain his theory, Brunelleschi constructed an experiment by drawing a linear perspective of the Florence Baptistry. Through the use of a mirror, a canvas, and a vanishing point through the canvas, Brunelleschi is able to depict perspective and depth accurately. By looking through the finished perspective drawing, one can see the reflection of the drawing in the mirror. By lifting the mirror, one will be able to see the real building, allowing them to switch back and forth and compare to understand the perspective's ability to accurately depict an image.